An abandoned vehicle is the only clue into who might have hit and killed a Glendale man who was crossing the street back in September. The family of Gary Nelson Jr. is now pleading for the driver to come forward, telling Team 12's Colleen Sakura they just want justice in this case. Gary Nelson Jr. was a father with a teenage son who was on his way home from work when he was killed. Now his family wants to find the driver who hit and killed him. It's pictures they're turning to. It'll probably be one of the best pictures. He, didn't, he wasn't a big fan of taking pictures and stuff. Ones carrying memories of Gary Nelson Jr. He was an amazing person. He's an amazing father. As Jonathan Nelson, his son, and April Juarez, Gary's stepdaughter, navigate life without him. It's horrible. That's not a way somebody should pass away. It's horrible. You know, they, that person just left him there. Monday, September 28th, around 7 at night, Glendale police say Gary was walking to get picked up by a family member after work. He was in the middle turn lane on 51st Avenue near Missouri when a car driving south... He potentially never even saw the car coming. ...hit him from behind. He was thrown into the air, into northbound traffic, and another vehicle struck him. Officer Tiffany Galula with Glendale Police says this is the car that hit him first. It was found abandoned in Phoenix. We aren't ruling anything out right now. We have talked to the registered owner. They live in Phoenix. Um, we spoke to them about the vehicle. Uh, we got you know, their explanation of what they believe happens. Now police are trying to find whoever was driving the car. The investigation is at a standstill. No one deserves to be hit by a vehicle and then just left for dead. As family searches for a little bit of closure. Please turn yourself in. Glendale police are asking anyone with information to call silent witness at 480 witness. A reward is being offered for a tip that leads to an arrest. Colleen Sikora, 12 News. Colleen, thanks.